raise your hand if you're a visual learner. Like, I learn best by seeing something, and then that, for me, is how I can remember things. A lot of times, I stand up here, I teach things to you, and I think you pick up on a little bit, but you don't remember it all. And so here's our goal tonight. You remember every single thing. And I know that's a lot. Jaden, I need you to come up here real quick. I have a question for you. Come up here real quick. Jaden, you are probably, no, I think you're the best dancer in the youth group, all right? Now, would you guys all agree? So here's, here's my question for you. How do you learn how to do certain dance moves? I just know them. You just know them. You didn't have to watch them. You, you're just born with it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Here it is. Jaden is what I like to call rare, all right? Most people learn dance moves, not because we were born with it and it's just like ingrained in us, but we watch things like YouTube. We learn how to do things. Do you know, you ever watched a video or you just got it? He's just got it. All right, man, you go have a seat. For everybody else that is not like Jaden, I would say uh, just people who, you know, we don't just have it. Tonight, we're going to learn it. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. KP is going to come up here. He's going to teach you guys some things. Here's what I need. All group participation. And by all group, I mean every single person. You're not too cool. You're not too old. You're not too young. You're not too whatever. We're all going to do it. And we have some incredible things we want to give away. Like cheese balls are good, but I'm talking like stuff where you can go to like restaurants, eat real food. You can go like on a date and like pay for your date also, like those kind of things. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we'll talk about it, all right? Is I, I want to introduce KP, but here's what I want you guys to understand. Listen, this whole month we have been looking at this series called Fake. And here's what I want you to understand. If you take something that was taught here on a Wednesday night or something you pick up on Sunday or something you, you learn about reading God's Word, you walk out of here and then you ignore it or not apply it to your life, that is literally the definition of fake, knowing what is right and then doing something completely opposite. So here's what I'm going to challenge you guys. We're going to get a little uncomfortable. We're going to do some things that maybe you wouldn't normally do, but here's my hope is no matter what you learn in here tonight, is that you're not fake and just keep it here, but you take it out of here and you truly use this to impact the kingdom of God. All right, so you ready? They're ready. Hey, if you thought I was excited and energetic, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Thanks, I'm, I'm going to sit right here if you, need a, if you need to be bailed out. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thanks, man. Hey, guys, good to see you. Like I said, my name's Kevin Phillips. Everybody for the last 30 years has called me KP. It's real easy. Just to make sure we're on the same page, can you just shout out with me? All right. Hey, my name's KP. All right, great, thanks. Now, if we're going to really get into this tonight, right, if we're going to really do it, you're going to have to get to know me a little bit better because I want you to trust me just, just till 725. You don't have to trust me after that, but just till 725, I want you to be with me on this. So you've got to get to know people if you're going to trust them, right? So here's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to do three truths, no, two truths and one lie and see if you can pick it out to get to know me a little bit better, right? So you got to kind of think. You got to scratch your beard, ladies. I mean, gentlemen, you got to scratch it up and just kind of be thinking, is this dude telling the truth or is he telling a lie? Here's the rules. One of these statements will be a lie. I promise you that. Two of these statements are going to be true. So you got to remember what order they're going to come in, and I'll say, all right, who votes for number one as the lie? That's what you're trying to detect tonight. What is the lie? What's the fake, right, that we were talking about there? So two truths, one lie. You see if you can detect it, okay? So get to know me a little bit. One of the things you need to know about me is I have wrestled an octopus and ate it all in the same day, all right? I have wrestled an octopus and ate it in the same day. Okay, second thing you need to know about me is I come from, well, that's too much information, is I've been kicked out of one city in Arkansas and one country in the world, okay? I've been kicked out of one city in Arkansas and one country in the world. You, you detect it. Is that a truth or a lie? So I have killed 
and eaten an octopus. I wrestled it, ate it in one day. And I've been kicked out of one city in Arkansas and one country in the world. And the third thing you really need to know about me, right, you really need to know about this, is I have won a surfing competition. I have competed and won in a surfing competition. So you think about it. All right, seventh graders, scratch your beard, still peach fuzz going on there. Get it all ready. Be thinking about it. Okay, two truths, one lie. First one, you tell me if you think this is the lie. Now, I want to see if you really mean it, right? If you think it's the lie, you got to show me some conviction, right? Disciples are people of conviction. So let's see what you got. If you think this first one's a lie, I want you to shout out, liar, like Old Testament prophet style. I want you to lay it out there like that. Are you ready? Is this the lie? Let's see what you think about it. I have wrestled and killed an octopus and ate it in one day. Okay? All right. Okay. You made your statement. Everybody knows it's sitting around you, whether you're right or wrong. Second one, you tell me if it's, now if it's a lie, if this second one's the lie, I want you to really, I mean, you shout it out. I mean, like you put shame on me as a liar, liar. Here it is. Second one. I think I can remember what it was. Oh, yeah. You tell me if you think this is a lie. I've been kicked out of one city in the state of Arkansas and one country in the world. What do you think? Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, shame, shame. Too much shame. Okay, you are, everybody knows, everybody knows where you stand. Everybody knows, it's cool. Third one, you gotta know about me. I have won, competed, and won in a surfing competition. Gosh, man, they're shameful. All right, how many think it's the surf is the lie? Surfing's the lie. How many think octopus is the lie? You think the octopus is the lie? How many think the Arkansas country thing's a lie? All right. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. I have been kicked out of Bella Vista, Arkansas for 24 hours when I was a teenager. I was caught by the police, kicked out of the city, and told not to come back for 24 hours. And I was kicked out of the country of the United Arab Emirates, and I am still banned from entry into that country. That is true. Now, the other truth. The other truth. Now, if you're like Sherlock Holmes, right, and you can figure these things out, you would use the skills of deduction and think, just as it was said of Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? When you think about the state of Arkansas, which I grew up, like a lot of you guys are, can any surf competition winner come out of the state of Arkansas? Hey, we think Gulf Shores is cool. Nobody's winning a surf competition from Arkansas, right? So, the truth, I went to a real cool place, not Gulf Shores, called the Maldives. I went swimming out into the ocean with a piece of rebar in my hand. I saw an octopus swimming on the bottom near the coral reef. I stabbed that octopus with that rebar, wrestled it down with these bare hands, pulled it out of the coral with my own strength, peeled its skin off with my own thumbnail, took it to a beachside Indian restaurant and had red curry made out of it and ate it that day. All right, that's true, that's true. It's true. But I have never won a surfing competition. Oh, who guessed, who guessed it right? Who guessed it right? All right. Did you guess it right, bud? Did you really? That's a smart man. Okay, let me have your attention, guys. That was a lot of fun. Now, we've got limited time, so I'm going to need your attention here. What I want to talk to you about tonight is about real disciples. What if it was true and it is, that you were never meant to be a Christian. What if that was true? It, and it is. You were never meant to be a Christian. Not the way Americans describe it. Not just in the fact that, hey, I'm a Christian because that's the home I was brought up in. I'm a Christian because that's just kind of, you know, what we're supposed to be where I live. What if Jesus never intended for you to be a Christian? And what if he always intended for you to be what they call a disciple? 
Man, you know what a disciple is? A disciple is a person. Doesn't matter what age you are. Doesn't matter where you come from. A disciple is one who is a follower of Jesus. You see, you can be a Christian and not a follower of Christ. You can be a Christian by your name. You can be a Christian because you got baptized when you were at VBS when you were six because your cousin did. You can be a Christian and not be a follower of Christ, but you cannot be a true disciple unless you're putting your feet in Jesus' footsteps and following him. Taking my whole life, giving it over to him and following. Man, you are meant to be a disciple, a person, a young man, a young woman who is following Jesus. But a disciple is more than that. I'm not just following after him and kind of, I'm one who's following Jesus and I'm someone who's being changed by Jesus. Man, he's changing the way I think. He's changing the way I see the world. He's changing the way I feel. He's changing the way I love. He's changing what I do with my hands. He's changing where I go with my feet. He's changing everything about my life. Day by day, he's adding great things. He's taking away bad things. I am being changed by Jesus. You see, you can be a Christian, show up to youth every Wednesday night. You can be a Christian and come down the aisle every year at camp or every time you do this. Or you can be a Christian and not be changed by Jesus. But you cannot be a disciple who's following after Jesus and that close proximity to Christ, that rubbing shoulders with him, bump up against him, letting his sweat bump up against your arm like you're on the basketball court. You can't be a follower of Jesus and not be changed by Jesus. But a disciple is even more than that. Yeah, they follow Jesus. They're being changed by Jesus. But you know what? A disciple is one who is committed to the mission of Jesus. Did you know Jesus was on a mission? He was on a mission from heaven to earth to rescue me and to rescue you. Man, he was on a mission. He even lays it out in the Bible exactly what his mission was all about. And he says, if you're going to follow me, you're going to be one who is committed to my mission mission. Guys, here's what I'm going to do for you tonight. When I was just your age or just a little bit above you, right, when I was 18, living in this state, I started being a follower of Jesus. Man, I started being changed by Jesus. It transformed my whole life. And when I was a teenager right here in this state, I saw clearly the mission that Jesus was on and thought, if I'm going to follow him, my whole life has to be poured into his mission. And I want to show you guys a little pathway tonight, right? That's what your youth pastor, Casey, was trying to tell you. We're going to do something a little crazy tonight. I'm going to show you a pathway about how to be committed to the mission of Jesus, how you can be putting your feet in his footsteps, how you can be being changed by him, and how you can take your life your talents, your skills, your spiritual gifts, everything about you and say, man, right here, right now, I want to bloom where I'm planted, in my school while I still have time, in my neighborhood, in my home, in my student ministry, I want to bloom where I'm planted and I want to know how to be committed to the same mission that Jesus is committed to. And here's what you're going to have, guys. I'm going to give you a gift tonight. I'm actually going to two gifts right now. I got One right here to give you. Casey has two gifts. But I'm going to give you a gift even more valuable than that. I'm going to give you the gift tonight. That imagine you were in an airplane. And you were strapped up with a parachute. And you bailed out of that airplane and you didn't know quite where you were going to land. But no matter where in the world you would land, if it's in this county in Arkansas... If it's in the place you're going to go for university, if it's where you land for your adulting, wherever it might be, whatever goes on, wherever you're planted, if your parents move and take a job somewhere else, you got to go with them. Man, you're parachuting out. You say, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going to land. But when my feet hit the ground for the rest of my life, I'm going to know how to be committed to the mission of Jesus and how to make other disciples who can make other disciples, who can make other disciples and make other disciples. Man, I want to tell you, listen, I'm going to give you a gift tonight. It's the same gift I've given 51,000 people over the last 10 years. And I'm going to show you that little pathway. So 
Anybody have a parachute on out there? You got your parachutes on? Or are you ready to jump out and just say, heck, oh Lord, wherever you put me, wherever I land, I'm going to know how to be a disciple and I'm going to know how to make disciples. So here's the deal. Our ministry out among the nations is to train disciples in how to make other disciples. But let me tell you something. We do it in a really weird way. We do it with Bible stories. We do it with practical lessons. And we do it with a set of hand actions that paints that roadmap. So if you're at your house, you're at your school, you're at your community, and you're like, okay, now what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to go to the people. Well, when I go there, what am I supposed to do? Well, I got to get out of the house. I got to get out of my bed. I got to put my, you know, gaming system up. I got to put down my stuff, and I got to go to the people. When I go to them, what do I do? I've got to look. I've got to search for a person of peace. When I find that person of peace, what do I do? I gather them to win them. Gather them to win them. When I gather them up, what do I do? What's the purpose? I lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. With those believers, I plant churches. And the same way I went to them, I send them to others. All right? You can see the graph up there on the thing. So the first step, if I'm going to know how to parachute out, land anywhere in the world, right? I got to first go to the people. That's the first hand action, the first little mark. I got to go to the people, right? The second one, I look for persons of peace. The third one, I gather them to win them. That's how we're going to say it tonight. I gather them to win them to Christ. With those, I lead them. Check how I do my hands. I lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. You shake your little fingers. When I, with those believers, I plant churches. And the same way I went to them, I send them to others. Okay? Now, that's what I've had the privilege of training over 50,000 people. And you know what? Those 50,000 people that have been trained have reached over 630,000 people in the last 10 years. Guys, I'm going to give you a great gift tonight. So... Take a look at the system. Just, just everybody put your eyes right here. You can kind of look up at the screen. Put your eyes on me for a second. These are the six steps. We call them the simple six of how to parachute out, land anywhere in the world, be a disciple, and make other disciples. Here it is, right? You go to the people. You look for a person of peace. You gather to win them to Christ. You lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. With these believers, you plant churches. And as you went to them... Send them to others. All right? You got it? All right. Case, what are you thinking, man? You got it? Okay, let's do it one. Everybody stand to your feet for a second. Okay. All right, stretch out a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. Okay, you ready? All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to honor you with training you just like I train 300 people at a time sometimes when we're over in India and Pakistan and Bangladesh and Nepal. I'm going to train you the same way. So here's what I do. I was in the Arkansas Army National Guard for a while, right? Okay. I'm real tough. Don't mess with me. All right. I was in the, I was a cook in the Arkansas National Guard. Don't mess with me. Hey, I worked in the supply room, buddy. Don't mess with me. I'm telling you. Okay. Anyway. All right. Here's what I do. Let's, let's get your attention. All right. Hands down to your side, military style. I'm going to count to three. When I count to three, one, two, three, I want you to do these actions. But here's the deal. Don't do them with me. I'm going to do it and say it, and then you repeat it back. But I don't want to hear 120 different voices. I want to hear one voice in unison shouting out what I say. Okay, are you with me? All right. One, two, three. Go to the people. No, 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 no. All right, listen, listen. I will say it. I will say it, you will repeat after me in one voice. How many voices? One. Okay, come on, Arkansas. Let's see what you got. Okay. Repeat after me. One. one. Come on. One. one. Two. Two. Three. Three. Go to the people. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them into, uh, gather them to win them to Christ. Gather them to win them to Christ. 
Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. With these believers, plant churches. As I went to them, Send them to others. Send them to others. <laughs> All right, good job. Man, that was awesome. Woo. Hey, dude, we've got 120 fam missionaries right here, man. You guys are awesome. Okay, now let's do it again. This time, I want to hear a roaring voice. I want to hear an army for Christ. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? To the, Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Look for a person of peace. Gather, them to win them to Gather them to win them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. With these believers, plant churches. As I went to them, send them to others. Amen. All right. Okay. Now, this time, this time we're going to say it real soft, okay? Shh, 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 okay, you ready? Hey, come in here. Come, 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 come. This time you can say it with me, okay? Say it with me, okay? Go to the people. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, buddy. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, ready? You ready? Shh. Hey. All right, good job. All right. Okay. All right, Case, come up with me, man. All right, everybody, we're going to do it together now. This time, we're all going to say it together, right? Now, you got to pay attention to the actions. You got to pay attention to the words because, Case, what's coming up? The gang. Oh, yeah, the competition is coming up. Now, so they pay attention good. Okay. What's the prizes we're dealing with? All right, here come the prizes, guys. Here so, come the prizes. so here's what we've got. We, shh, we have to get it down to the best three. Mm. And so I have a $15 Taco Bell gift card. <laughs> I have... That's third prize, That's right? third prize. I have a $15 Subway gift card and a giant box of Ring Pops. That's second prize, second prize. And then first prize, we have a 50? $50 movie tavern. Wow. First prize. Wow. $50. Okay. Yes. Was it a seventh grader that said, what's the date? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. All right. Okay, let, you ready, Let me, let me get these out for everybody. Yeah. Okay, guys, listen. If you're going to win the prize... You're going to be invited on the stage. We're going to whittle it down till there's three people standing, top three. So we're going to practice for a couple of more times, and then we got to make sure you're ready to uh -huh. come up and compete. If you make the slightest error, you don't do the hand action just right, bam, you're out. See if ya. you say that, you want to say the words, you're only going to do the actions. If you mess up just a hair, if you do like this instead of this, you're out. Okay? You got to nail it. Okay? So let's practice another time. You All ready? Right. Okay, your attention, please. Tension. This is practice for the competition. Are you ready? Yeah. One, One, two, two three. three. Go to the people. Go to the people. Look, for a person of peace. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to win them to Christ. Gather them to win them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. With these disciples, plant churches. With these disciples, plant churches. As I went to them, I went to them. Send, them to send them to others. All right. Okay. This time, no words. No words. 
You do it at the same time I do it. Let's see if you got it down. You ready? You ready? Okay. I, I said no words. No words. All right. I think we're going to the movies. In case. I think right, it's me and you. Let's it. Let's it. <laughs> Are you ready? Perfect. Okay. Now at the same time. Ready? Hey, man, all right. You guys look like a bunch of Taekwondo experts is what you look like. Yeah, you got to wiggle them. You got to wiggle them. Hey, don't forget, you got to wiggle them. If you don't wiggle them, you're out. Okay? That's it. All right. I think we need some adults who can help us judge this. Yes. So. Judges. So here's, here's my question. Shh. Hey, hey, listen, here we go. Who think that they could do this and win the prizes? Let me just see a show of hands. Okay, okay. Let's do it like this. If you are in seventh, eighth, or ninth grade and you think you could win these prizes, I want you to line up here on the front right here. Everybody sit down, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat. Seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, seat, if you want a seat. shot at this, line the stage. Scoot it on down here, come on down here. Come on down here. All right, here we go. Okay. Easy, easy. There's peanut butter ring pops in there. All right, here we go. Okay. You good? Yeah, we're good. All right, okay. you guys. Here's the deal, though. You have to be quiet up here. Shh. Spread out a little bit. Make sure you got plenty of room. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Okay, adult leaders, you've got to be tough, or if not, we'll be here all night. If anybody makes a mistake, you got to bounce them, right? you got to bounce them off, okay? All right, the slightest mistake. We need some more judges up here, guys. We need some more judges. Slightest mistake. You ready, Case? I'm ready. Okay. All right, guys, contestants, check it out right here. I'm not going to do the action. I'm only going to say the word, Ooh. the words. When Ooh. I say the phrase, you have to immediately do the action. If you do it real slow, looking around, bam, you're out. If I touch your head, you're gone. Yeah. If you make the wrong action at all, you're out. This is going to be a lightning round. No grace. Grace comes with Jesus, not in the competition. Okay? All right, here we go. You, you got this right here? I'm going to look right here. Okay, are we ready? Okay. Quiet in the peanut gallery. Quiet, 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 quiet. Contestants, focus right here. Listen for the words. Make the action Judges, get ready to bounce. We're going in order. Okay? All right. One, two, three. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to win them to Christ. <laughs> Anybody out? Oh, good. All right, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. All right, round two. Here we go. Okay, we're going to be going fast. Start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. Hands down to your side. Ready, set, go to the people. Look for a person of peace. <laughs> Gather them to lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. <laughs> hey, if you mess up at all, you're out. Okay, hold your Got position. Got to wiggle. Got to wiggle. Ready? With these believers, plant churches. As I went to them, send them to others. All right, good job. String it in. Bring it in. All right. Get ready. It's going to be fast. Okay. Ready, set, go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to lead them to Christ. All right, ready, hands down. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Plant churches with these believers. As I went to them, send them to others. Boom, you're out. Okay, good. Bring it in, bring it in. Ready. I say we get it down to three. Okay, sounds yeah. good. All okay, right. ready. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to win them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers. Plant churches with these believers. As I went to them, send them to others. 
That's really good. All right, ready? Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. All right, we had one down. Back. Good job. That's awesome. Ready? Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. With, make disciples. Make obedient disciples. Plant churches with these believers. Disciple to them. Send them to others. Ooh. Dang, they're hot. They're hot. All right. What you thinking, man? Keep it going or bring some... Keep these steady and bring others up. I think we need to get one more out. Okay, here we go. Ready. Guys, tough judging. Tough judging. Ready? Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. With these believers, plant churches. I want for them, send them to others. <laughs> all right, all right. Here, here's what we're going to do. All of you guys have a seat over here on the edge of the stage. All right, right. If you are in 10th, 11th, 12th, and you think you got this, come on. We only have three prizes. <laughs> hey, we only have three prizes. <laughs> I think for the final thing, you should do it. Now. Okay, yeah, we can mix that up a little bit. Yeah, that'll throw them off. We got about eight minutes. Okay, my friends, spread out down this way a little bit. Okay, judges, this is an advanced group. This is an advanced group of educated Arkansans. Tough, be tough on them. Listen, you can shout out and call people out. You can shame them. You can do all kinds of stuff. Wiggle them fingers. Are you ready? Judges, are you ready? Ready. Ready. Ready? Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to win them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Plant churches with these believers. Is that what to them? Send them to others. <laughs> ready, 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 ready. Go to the people. Oh, who went on? Oh. Oh, little Simon says, psych out. Simon says, psych out. Ready. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. With, with these believers, plant churches. I went to them. Send them to others. <laughs> ready. Ready. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Make them the obedient followers of Jesus. Plant churches with these believers. As I went to them, send them to others. Oh. Uh, Ready to switch is, it up? He is the most entertaining one to watch, though. <laughs> Ready. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather them to win them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. I plant churches with these believers. As I went to them, send them to others. <laughs> people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Plant churches with these believers. Disciples to them. Send them to others. <laughs> All right, scoot it down. Scoot it down. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Ready. Go to the people. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Oh, sorry, sorry. My mistake. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. KP's out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Ready. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Yeah, lead them to be obedient followers. Plant you churches with early. these believers. As I went to them, send them to others. Out. Oh. Slow, oh. dude, slow. So sad. All right, what you think of Case? Ready for the finale? All right, here we go. Our room is slanted. All right, last one for this round. Ready. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Lead them to the obedient followers of Jesus. With these peoples, plant churches. Sell them to them. Send them to others. Uh, that's pretty uh, good. Hey, I think, I think this is good. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring over the 7th, 8th, and 9th grade group. We're going to do the final elimination here. But here's what you need to understand. These may not be in the right order. Yeah. 
So y'all come on over here. In the Hop sound down booth. here. Sound booth. Sound booth, guys. Let's see the graphic on there, please. All right, I, yeah. We're going to do, uh, we'll cut the last song and then just okay. do a prayer. So. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. All right. Eyes front, eyes front. Don't look back. Right up here. We got to get this thing done. We got three prizes to give out. Second place, third place, first place prize. Two are truth, one is a lie. All right, here we go. Ready. Now, these will might or might not be in the right order. Mm. It's an advanced round. Ready. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and win them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Plant church with these believers. Die with them. Send them to others. Ooh. Ready. Ready. Go to the people. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. <laughs> Head scratcher. <laughs> ready. Ready. Oh. Ross. Ross. Ready. Ross is Ross is doing the hard job. Go to the people. As I went to them, send it to others. Ooh. <laughs> this is stressing me out. I'm not even doing it. <laughs> Ready. Go to the people. Looking for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Plant churches with these believers. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. What happened? What did he do? I, I didn't One, see it. Two, three, four, five. Okay. There's six contestants left. There are three prizes. This is where it gets serious. Let's bring them to the stage. All right. Get up here on the stage. All right. Here we go. Hands together. Ready! Spread out a little bit. Spread out a little bit. Ready! Here we go. Don't lose heart now. Ready? Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Plant church with these believers. It's all up to them. Send them to others. Ooh. Ready! 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 Gather them into story groups. Oh. I think our two what's here. It's okay. Ready, ready, ready. One, two, three. Look for a person of peace. That was good. Ready, ready, ready. Go to the people. Zion went to them. Send them to others. That's pretty dang good. <laughs> pretty good. Come on, come on. Hey, we got some action over here. All right, now listen. Call them out good. This is the top. Five, right? We only got two left to go right, down. Here, here, here's how it's going to be. If you're the last one to the sign. Yeah, there you go. You That's go. it. No slow moves. This is the move conference. Here we go. No slow moves. Are you ready? Here we go. Go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Plant church with these believers. Is that what to them? Send them to others. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know. I think, I think you need to mix it up a little bit. Okay, They've got go. this. They're ready for the next trip. All right, here we go. Ready, ready. Go to the people. Plant church with these believers. Oh. Oh. Ready, ready. Here we go. Here we go. Ready. One, two, three. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Oh. <laughs> All right. That was awesome, dude. You guys, awesome. Are, you guys are in the money now. Ready. Okay, top three. Here we go. Second place is Subway and Ring Pops. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Third place is Taco Bell. First place. First place, $50. Movie Tavern, baby. Movie Tavern. <laughs> Ready, ready, go to the people. Look for a person of peace. Gather and lead them to Christ. Lead them to be obedient followers of Jesus. Plant church to these believers. Here you go. Here we go, here we go. Where, where's those ring pops? Where's the ring pops? Wait, 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 wait. Here's what needs to happen. When it's over, this place needs to lose their minds, all right? It's only fitting. 
that we all go nuts. Yes. All right, here we go. Hey, all this right, is fellas. it. Center stage, center stage. Scoot out a little bit. Center stage. Okay, this is where it gets to where the men meet the boys right here. Men meet the boys. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Go to the people. It's over to them, send them to others. Oh. Oh. Hey. He's a winner. Awesome, dude. All right, dude. All right, what's your name? Luke. Luke? All right, the Gospel of Luke. That's what his new nickname is, the Gospel of Luke. Good news, Luke, right here, all right? Yeah. Good news, Luke. All right, dude. You got a girlfriend? No. Good. That's a Christian kid right there. All right. Well, the reason he don't have no girlfriends because he ain't got no movie tickets. All right, hey. now, now he's got some. All right, man, good hey, job. Hey, ladies, right here. Nobody? Nobody? Uh. All right, you going to leave us out? Yeah. Guys? Thank you for letting me be with you tonight. Listen, you are now equipped to learn this and grow on this for the rest of your life. Anywhere you go, you are ready to be that disciple who is following Jesus, being changed by Jesus, and committed to the mission of Jesus as an ambassador of Christ. Who knows, Casey, what God might do with some of these guys and girls as they make disciples who can make disciples who can make disciples until Jesus comes back. Guys, love you. Thanks for being here. Thank me, thanks for letting me be here with you. We'll see you later. Thanks, Casey. Hey, re really fast. Hey, I know that this is exciting. Here's what I need. Shh, two things. Don't ever compare my energy. I can never match that, all right? Not, there's not enough Red Bulls in the world for me to get like that. I would be falling off the stage and stuff like that. Let's give a round of applause for KP. And listen, his heart, I've heard it shared many times, and I've, I've got to sit under him as he storytells and things like that, y'all. The, the work that he is doing, and you didn't tell him why you were kicked out of a country. You weren't being bad. He, he being, yeah, bad in Bella Vista, but in the UAE, he was being obedient to God. And here's the coolest thing about that. Man, how neat is it to say, hey, I've been banned from a country because I was telling people about how good God is there in that country. And so I don't want you to leave with a bad rap, like, he was, he was being a missionary. That's why he got kicked out. Here's what I want to tell you guys. Next week, we are wrapping up our series on fake. We are going to have an incredible time. March 1st, plant registration opens up. We want you guys to sign up for that. If you are a first or second time guest, thank you so much for being here. You are a very important person. We want you to come to the VIP room. We have something for you. Ecclesia Village came back. I'm so excited. The llama, uh, he made it back, and I guess he gets a shirt now. And so, hey, you guys are dismissed. We love y'all. We'll see y'all next week.